If you're not aware, our assistant state veterinarian, Mike Heron, issued a statement a few weeks ago about two horses that have been diagnosed with equine herpes myeloencephalopathy. Now both of these horses participated in a barrel racing event in Oklahoma City. Most horses are exposed to equine herpes virus somewhere before the age of two. And after that initial exposure, uh, the virus will lay dormant or an inactive state or a latent phase until the horse encounters some type of stressful event and then the virus is reactivated. Now equine herpes virus is associated with respiratory problems, reproductive problems. Uh, we do see newborn deaths with it and on rare occasions you get the neurological form of the disease. We get damage to the blood vessels in the brain and the spinal cord and this results in neurological signs. Now when we look at treating these horses, the problem is we don't have a drug that treats the herpes virus. So we have to rely on just supportive care and uh, usually we'll give some anti-inflammatory drugs. Prevention of the disease is difficult because although we have herpes virus vaccines, none of them have a neurological component to the vaccine. Your best defense against this disease is to practice good biosecurity. If you're going to be going to an event where there's lots of horses, try to keep your horses isolated as much as possible. Never share equipment with other horse owners there. Don't let your horse drink out of a water bucket that's shared by other horses. Don't let your horse eat out of a bucket that's been shared by other horses. If you'd like some more information about equine herpes myeloencephalopathy, our state equine specialist, Dr. Chris Heine, and Dr. Elizabeth Gee, who works for the Center for Veterinary Health Science, have put out some very good information about this virus. Just go to sunup at okstate.edu.